about time that we gave you a tour of our little van. We've been on the road now for three months and what we've got set up I think is working fairly well for us. Yeah, so far we've been to France, through Spain, into Portugal, back into France and now we're currently here in Switzerland. We've gave it around three months just to see if it actually does work and we like how it's all set off and a couple of people have commented asking to see a tour of the van so I'm excited to show you around. So the van that we're travelling in is a 2004 Volkswagen Transporter T5. We bought the van in August of 2021 with no intentions of travelling in it full time. We just bought it as a weekend van and then it's turned into our full time van just for convenience of having it at the time. It's a two and a half litre engine, factory midi roof which you don't see too many of them about and it does help us with a little bit more headroom and it's a short wheelbase which does make it a little bit tight at times but we'll show you around that now. So there's not that much interesting stuff happening up front but I am a, the designated passenger on this trip because it was too expensive to get me insured. So this is my side of the cab. You've got the double seat which is really nice because you get a lot of space and a lot of junk ends up on this side and um, in here in the glove box we just end up keeping uh, a lot of junk and basically just anything that we need quickly we'll put in there it's got stuck <laughs> <laughs> and then in the door this is my side of the door but Mitch has started to take it over by putting a brush fly spray and some cloths however it's still to keep some like perfume and there is a mirror here as well for easy convenience as we don't have a mirror in the van and then in the middle we've got two cup holders and a little thing to charge our phones we also don't have bluetooth unfortunately <laughs> so we just have the aux cable we keep our sunglasses up here our little head if you know where that's from you're the best but there is something really exciting underneath the seat which I like. So we also bought these dry robe seat covers as when we were traveling in the van when we first bought it it was summer and as the leather underneath it got very hot and if you're in shorts on a leather seat it's not fun and these have been a godsend because we've been able to just get into the van if we've been to the beach and not have to worry about like damaging the seats or anything but underneath here we have a whole heap of storage. In here, we keep our toiletries. I had way too many when we first came, still do. In here, as well as like makeup and shower supplies, everything like that. And then on this side, we keep all of our like gym, gym gear. So we've got our towels, um, all our bands, knee sleeves, massage gun just all the outdoor gym stuff that we can get to really easily so all that we have to do is flip this up and then we can grab it and that is really handy to have especially with the toiletries because it keeps it all away but close enough that we can grab it really easily in the driver's quarters it's pretty bog standard up here we've got no optional extras less things to go wrong which is sometimes nice but i wouldn't mind cruise control every now and again um, about the most snazzy thing we've got is electric windows so we're balling over here there's also no aircon in this van which does become a tad bit annoying when you've been driving for a couple of hours with the windows down so on my side i've got the first aid kit which luckily hasn't been used yet some antiperspirant because showers are few and far between when you're living in a van and then just some woolly hats because it is getting cold now and sunglasses and also another thing I forgot to say is it's a diesel I don't know if they make any petrols in this van but yeah this is a diesel a cool little add-on that we put in this van is a swivel seat this is one of the best decisions that we made when getting this van ready for full-time travel this makes so much more room in the back itself that it allows me and Mitch to both have our own little area to work or just sit in and it just frees up so much more space so it was worth every penny 
So now I thought I'd just take you through the living quarters of the van. So starting up top, up here, this is our wardrobe. <laughs> it's not much, but it's enough. We scoured the internet for ages to find you said yours would be easier man. <laughs> we scoured the internet for ages to try and find something that would be able to fit in this top bit and luckily we came across these little wooden drawers that we've been able to roll and fold all of our clothes and then we've just put a bungee strap over it and to be honest so far they've been pretty good they don't go anywhere as you can tell it's really hard to get them out especially when someone's bought way too many clothes so moving on around to this bit of the van we bought some little hooks before we left and they've come in so handy and we've been able to put one up here into the ceiling and this is my little toiletry bag and it's a great little addition because it's got the hook for if you go shower anywhere um, and it keeps everything in and it's dead easy for me to grab in the morning and not have to get under the seat or anything at night so it's a really good little trick to put that there me and Martha debated for quite a long time on whether we needed this door card or not so inside the sliding door is basically just a load of empty space which as you can see can be used for quite a lot of various things um, this was quite expensive it was around 150 pounds I think at the time but luckily we found one on eBay that came pre carpeted which saved quite a bit of hassle for us and inside here we just keep all of our spices um, foil a torch just different bits like that and then down here we've got some more spices and the coffee which will take us on to the next cupboard so in relation to the coffee in this cupboard that we've got up here this is where we keep our french press kettle and mugs sweetener blah 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 tea bags all that sort of business and this is the best place for the washing up liquid so now moving on to the fun bit we've got a 50 litre Dometic fridge here it's also got a freezer up the top we're looking a little bit empty because we're in Switzerland and we won't buy anything but yeah it's been great for us it fits everything in we can do a decent food shop and play Jenga and fit everything in there up here we've got a two burner stove and a sink which is really handy having the two stoves really helps down here we were gonna get a cupboard fitted but we ran out of time before we left and it was really hard to find one to fit so anyway here's our toilet next to the kitchen because van life so yeah we decided on getting a toilet and it's the best decision we ever made we also have a chopping board <laughs> And then all of our plates, bowls, and other utensils, like bags and bits like that, all just fit in here. And thankfully, nothing falls over. Next off, we have this cupboard, which basically just keeps all our pots and pans. We also added another one of them hooks up here to put all our fruit and veg in, which it's been really handy, so nothing gets bruised. And then another feature that Mitch did take this utensil holder down so we've got all our nice forks um, cooking utensils everything like that is in that and it doesn't go anywhere then the last bit of our kitchen is the pantry this uh, has been really really handy and fits a lot of food in we have put a lot in here we left with a lot and it's it's held up really well for us and we've kind of got a little bit of a system of where things are. We also fit some like r rubber on the bottom of the shelf to be able to um, not let everything slip around. So that was a really cool little trick that we did. I should talk about our favourite thing in the world was buying this fan. It was a pricey fan but worth every single penny. I think that's why we wanted to do this video a little bit further down the line is now we can say what was actually worth the money and so far everything that we've bought thankfully has been worth every penny. It's a 12 volt Caframo Sirocco 2 360 fan. But then up here in this little shelf and area 
we keep all our electricals so we also put a um, extension lead which Mitch will go on to so everything can charge up here just moving on to this last cupboard up here we do keep a few more clothes in here in these packing cubes which are really handy they just fit in so we have like pants and socks and stuff up here um, I have my pyjamas and stuff out so it's easier to grab because it's colder Mitch has one, I've got bikinis back there and gym clothes and stuff like that all in these little packing cubes which just slide back nicely and it's not too hard to get them out and then up there as well this storage goes like all the way back there's way too much, like, I can't reach the whole way back and like for instance as we're in Switzerland before we left France we went and bulk bought loads of food so we've got stashes of couscous and beans around the van and it, that's where a lot of other stuff like that fits so the table for inside the living quarters is back here on the door which is very handy and really good for saving space but these little plastic plastic clips on here attach to this metal rail which then swings this leg down and we can have the table here or here or here anywhere you want it so underneath the sofa is where we've got our 12 volt system mainly the battery the inverter and the solar controller the battery that we went for is actually a lithium battery by a company called portable power technology we've got the vehicle power hub 2500 which is 2500 watts or 208 amp hours it's been absolutely bang on for us so far and a worthy investment so we've got two things that can charge the battery we've got the solar controller which is connected to the solar panel on top we've got a 295 watt monocrystalline solar panel that's fixed to the roof and also inside of the battery battery hub there is a dc dc charger which allows it to charge while the van is running from the battery we can use the inverter to use our 230 volt like household voltage stuff like laptops and shavers and bits like that also we've got a cable running to a fuse box and then to these switches that allows us just to use our various 12 volt appliances inside the van like the fan and the lights and stuff like that it's a very basic electrical setup but it works very well for what we need to do down the side of the sofa is where the 12 volt pump is which pulls from the water tank below for the shower and the sink so in the back we've got a bit more storage and also this is the only place that we could find that would fit our outdoor gas stove but up here we've got another cupboard where we keep all of our trainers and boots and then this is our jackets here underneath here we try and keep a lot of our outdoor stuff like chairs we've got some fins in here and then also the gas bottles live down here and then it's just got a hose hooked up to the burner in the front one we use for the burner in the front and the other one we pull out for the gas stove outside and then under here is where I class my garage we've just got my tools and then the hose the AA kit outdoor table wheel chocks all of them sort of things live underneath there the most exciting part is we do actually have facilities for a shower so underneath the van there's a 50 litre water tank fitted which is filled up from this part of the van here so we just have to run a hose and fill it up from this point here we've got this handy little hose connection here for the shower head which fits onto here turn the pump on and then you've got a shower with different pressures on it it saved us from paying for showers and just rinsing off salt water washing your feet off it's just been absolutely bang on now on to the exciting part of the bed getting the bed out is a little bit of a challenge as anyone who lives in a van would know if it's not a fixed bed there's a little bit of manoeuvring that you have to do to be able to get your bed ready and inside our rolled up mattress is where we also keep our our duvets so me and Mitch actually opted for two single duvets 
as um, during the summer months I am known to like to cover myself with the quilt still even if it's really really hot <laughs> so it made sense for us to kind of go separate on that it's actually really comfy so we were kind of concerned about the thickness of the mattress not being enough but we've slept really well in the van I can't really think of any nights that we've had that either of us have been really uncomfortable since we've had this mattress so all in all it's very comfy and very cosy <laughs> <laughs> so that is it for the van tour I hope you've enjoyed I hope we haven't missed anything I think we have missed some stuff but if you have got any questions please just let us know and then we'll try and answer them as best as we can yeah, and leave us a comment down below of what you liked about the van or if there's anything that you'd change or you've got any ideas for us to do any cheeky upgrades. Let us know as now we're in it full time, any little tweaks that we can make are much appreciated. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I was lost in a City dream and I was at home again beside the stream.